lie about it. All in government. You know, in government lies as a matter of course, as a matter of policy. The Tuskegee experiments on black men in the 30s, Henry had a lax. What are they trying to do? That's the missing piece. But it's not hard to imagine a government hiding, hoarding alien technology for 70 years at the expense of human life and the future of the planet. Driven not only by corporate greed, but a darker objective. The takeover of America. And then the world itself, by any means necessary, however violent, or cruel, or efficient, by severe drought, brought on by weather wars, conducted secretly using aerial contaminants and high altitude electromagnetic waves, in a state of perpetual war, to create problem, reaction, solution scenarios to distract, enrage, and enslave American citizens at home, with tools like the Patriot Act and the National Defense Authorization Act, which abridge the Constitution in the name of national security. The militarization of police forces in cities across the U.S., the building of prison camps by the Federal Emergency Management Agency with no stated purpose, the corporate takeover of food and agriculture, pharmaceuticals and healthcare, even the military in clandestine agendas to fatten, dull, sicken, and control a populace already consumed by consumerism. And I encourage you all to go shopping more. A government that taps your phone, collects your data, and monitors your whereabouts with impunity. A government preparing to use that data against you when it strikes. And the final takeover begins. The takeover of America. By a well-oiled and well-armed multinational group of elites that will call, kill, and subjugate. Happening as we sit here. It's happening all around us. The other shoe waiting to drop. It'll probably start on a Friday. The banks will announce a security action necessitating their computers to go offline all weekend. Digital money will disappear. They can just steal your money? Followed by the detonation of strategic electromagnetic pulse bombs to knock out major grids. What will seem like an attack on America by terrorists or Russia. Or a simulated alien invasion using alien replica vehicles that exist and are already in use. An alien invasion of the U.S. The Russians tried it in 47. You can't say these things. I'm going to say them tomorrow. First century. Humanity is currently living within a monetary based world which had been hijacked by the banking institution. By 2020, the monetary system will collapse under the world's national debts and the middle class will be driven to poverty. The lower class will stop receiving government financial assistance and crime rates will rise and consume society. Following the collapse will be a war on religion, as many people of faith will believe these are the end times referenced in the book of Revelations. All this turbulence will effortlessly trigger global civil wars, granting the United Nations the order from chaos scenario needed to launch World War III, and the New World Order. At the height of World War III, the wealthy ruling class will depart in pre-prepared underground bunkers and space stations to hide in safety while depopulation goes into full effect. By 2030, the One World Government will be installed, run by those wealthy families who used their banking cartels to set the stage for the reign of their power. The survivors and citizens enslaved under their rule will be imprisoned, re-educated, and implanted with microchips to be permanently surveyed and controlled. All that will be left of your old world, will be in ruins. But this isn't the first time humanity had to fight against a tyrannical power for their freedoms. 
The bubonic plagues of 1349 had destabilized society and gave church authoritarians the upper hand to seize more control over the European nations. And out of the grip of theocratic coercion, the Renaissance period was born. Not since the days of classical Greece, had humanity been this vibrant and curious to know knowledge and freedom from the state. Great advances in art, music and science were made in this period. We're due for a brand new renaissance period, one that will overpower the rule of the wealthy and install a better plan than the one they have. Anonymous will seek to work with Trek Industries. Objective, to restore entertainment. To create a more expansive and positive experience for the youth. This will help to inspire a new renaissance period to emerge. A period where wisdom, connection, and emotional drive will be expressed artistically and politically. Such a world will inspire the populace to reach higher and think deeper, to invent new ideas, and master self-leadership. This will render world governments obsolete, for the people of the new renaissance will be wise, and will utilize technology and the internet to self-govern and manage their affairs without coercion or human control. A planet without governments limiting the people will free a world that can create a more efficient economic system. Once robotic workers replace human labor, then it will establish a resource-based economy, this will grant humanity 100% autonomy to focus on their future. A future where Jack Fresco's Venus project can be implemented. A future where space exploration and light speed travel can be advanced and made a reality. The goal is to change minds and push humanity to its furthest reach. And if we work together, we can make this a new and exciting world to be in. Operation New Renaissance. Engaged.